Dude, speaking of Evan breaking things, he broke another thing today. What? Mm-hmm. The skid steer. He walks in all sad. We're going to have to make some wrecking ball merch. Because that's what Evan is. <laughs> to fund keeping Evan around. It's getting expensive, man. <laughs> He's just sitting back. <laughs> Dude, it's honestly impressive, bro. Everything you touch. Ev- not even. It, everything you look at. It's the variety of things you're able to break, too. Evan, did you look at Ken? Funny. <laughs> That's that's what it was. That's what caused it. He was watching <laughs> as they went over the jump. So we've got Ken here. He is in brace with a Ken. Would you like to explain kind of your injury and how it's progressed? So we rolled side by side, mm-hmm. and I'm too tall for most things, <laughs> side by side included. Planes, economy, yeah. class in planes. Um, so. That's when why we rolled first. it, the, the cage kind of like collapsed in a little bit and kind of just like came in on my head and uh, fractured my C7 vertebrae. Or what is it? Yeah, your C7 okay. fractured it. Is, it. is that a vertebrae or what is that? Yeah, it's a vertebrae. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm in a a collar, I think is what they call it, for two months now. Do you get that off by the time we go to Vegas? No. Ooh. It's mid-Vegas. I, I think mid-Vegas? I can, no, like like... After it's mid November, so after Vegas, shoot. So maybe I can get some sympathy things in the clubs. There you go. There you go. Ken's gonna be able to jack. So you're gonna be in there with your brace. I don't know. I mean, his brace hasn't slowed him down one bit yet. It really hasn't. Ken, your spirits have been extremely high. Told him he can't drive for two months. Let me drive him around for two days. Okay, so two dri- days. And then dri- you start driving. Driving around the lakes is a little different than driving around, like, town or going on the highway. Like, there's no cars. It's 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 fall. Everyone's cabin is closed up. There's nobody around here. I have to go, like, okay, there's no car that way. There's no car that way. I'm good. I can go. Elon doesn't beep at you? No, oh, I, I requested the full self-driving beta thing, and they haven't said anything back to me. I'm just in the queue for it. So, Did you tell them you're injured? Well, hold up. Yeah. So, okay. Once you get it, though, does it full on drive itself? Or how does that work? Supposedly, it'll like go to a stop sign and stop and turn and do everything. So, you actually bought that? Well, I subscribed to it. So, what's that cost? 200 bucks a month. Or if you buy it, it's $15,000, which is the biggest rip off in the car Whoa. industry, I feel like. Wait. So, you pay 200 bucks a month and it will drive you. You don't have to touch the wheel. I mean, if, if you get into the beta, which I'm not in the beta yet. I it's love- like the club if they give you access to it. But I love how you're paying for it right now. Like you paid the cover charge, but you still didn't get in. But it's like you have to pay the you have to pay for the beta every month, and you get like some gimmick features, and then it, they like watch you. They watch how you drive, like how you accelerate, how you turn, like if you're paying attention to the road or not. So like, that's why you haven't let any of us drive your car. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how do you feel, Ken? Like what? Like just right now. Like, how are things during the day, going? like when I'm able to like distract myself and like do things and kind of kind of take your mind off around, of it. I kind of take my mind off things. It's fine, like it's uncomfortable, but it's not bad. But it's like when I lay down and like try and go to bed, and that's that's got to be the worst. That's like all you can focus on is like oh. I just want to go to bed, and it's just my neck and my upper back are just throbbing. It feels like somebody's stabbing it. Really? So really. do you just lay straight back? I'd imagine. Yeah, it's annoying. Mm. Right. I think and, we kind of brushed over this, but. It's a full-on broken neck. Yeah. yeah. And there's comments on the last video. There was actually, that's like a whole separate part of this we'll get into after. But uh, I saw, I read a couple comments on it, and I knew people would say this, and they were like, you said it's fractured. That's not broken. Dude, pussy. Like, I like, know. <laughs> I, I literally, that's why like, when we dude. went in, I, I had to clarify. I said, to be clear, he has a broken neck. This is a broken neck. And because I knew... And I'm not saying that all of our subscribers are like it. I, th- I think it's a small percentage. But it's just so funny. They, they have to act all big dick like, oh, I rolled my razor five times and I still hop back in and sent it. <laughs> like, like all those comments. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Like, and to Ken's credit, he hasn't missed a day he, of work. Yeah, yeah no, and he did. No. Fu- it's a, he's and severely he hurt. Yeah, exactly. Like, like anybody who tries to discredit it or. But honestly, try, like, I, I hate to focus on that small portion because i saw so many people that right. were like this that, also that happened as to well me. i would say so I'm, most i am it, glad for the general it's, good it's support. amazing like i was out and about this weekend and it's it's amazing like you say oh i broke my neck doing this and they're like oh i know somebody my husband my yeah. friend yeah. like they also did something similar to that and it's just I, like holy crap this i is- kind of found that out too like the i was thinking like there's got to be really no one that's done 
something like very few but like we came across probably what two or three different people I, that I, are kind I of five. in our i just yeah. like we sat and got lunch on saturday and there was three people that came up then and i had uh some supper last night and two more people yeah. came up to me it Damn. was it's it was tough to hear but it was also uh comforting because you're like okay so like these people have recovered Did and it, they're and okay yeah. you know and that 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 made me feel better i would say mm-hmm. and hopefully it made you feel better yeah what did you guys think when reading the comments? Like, how did that make you feel seeing kind of how many people have been injured like that? It was tough to read the ones where they're like permanently. Permanently. Mm-hmm. Right. Dude, I, I felt I, yeah. so bad. Dude, I had such a hard time reading that. And then, you know, when an accident like that does happen, it's like relatable where it's like, hey, I've been through the same thing. I know how you feel, Ken. But like, I don't know, dude. My heart just like goes out to like people that, get injured like that and then they kind of just watch i don't our videos and like almost just seeing people doing like the things that injured you maybe and it's like a much different light like Mm -hmm. i can't look at like razors or like side by sides the same after watching that and have the same like trust and faith in it or like excitement to like get in it like i don't know about you guys but like dude i do not trust those things, those roll cages, one fucking bit anymore. I really have never trusted them that much. And I would agree much. with that, yeah. I, like, I, ever since, like, when we were in Florida, and you were riding, you guys were riding with the side-by-side guys, and they were launching those jumps, they were, they were a little bit bigger than probably our biggest jump on the track. And I guess they do have aftermarket cages, but I don't even know if those would have held up from how high you guys were dropping and shit. Luckily, no one got hurt because those guys are awesome drivers. No one crashed or nothing. Extremely close, but though. you extremely were extremely close. close. Do you know how much different that day would have been if you would have tumbled that? Like we'll overlay the clip here. You could have been like Ken, if not worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's terrifying. And like to think how many people that watch our videos have gone through something like that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and how many haven't though. And I'm, I don't want them to. But like this is a good awareness type of thing. That's how I would use it. You know, Mm -hmm. like, like you can't trust a stock cage or really, obviously, unless you get a really high high aftermarket cage, but you still can get hurt. Like this is, Mm -hmm. you know, you got to take this kind of stuff seriously. Wear your helmet. The the specialist I saw, he was saying the other thing, like those neck braces are no joke. Like those can help out so many people from these types of injuries too. Like like the, like Like the, whatever it is. Like like a moto neck brace. Just cause like it can, you know, say it even like crushes your collarbone. It's not your spine. Like, you can – collarbone's right. the least of your injuries at that point. Yeah, no right. kidding, comparatively to a neck. Yeah, make sure you wear your helmet, wear your – like, if wear, that thing didn't harness. have harnesses – and I, I even think those harnesses weren't as ideal because they are retractable. I think for, like, this kind of stuff, you should really have, like – Convenience factor, those retractable ones yeah. are great. But, like, like, it's actually holding you in place. It's like – I mean, if it's going to be this – if we're going to be doing jumps and stuff like this – we need to have something that's, you know, fixed mm-hmm. harnesses because yeah. I don't know. But definitely definitely need a new cage. Yeah, definitely a huge wake up moment for the boys. For sure. For sure. Dude, watch watching that footage back when we were editing the video, me and CJ, I didn't even want to put in the GoPro shot of the face, like head on of, of them because you can see Ken basically fall out of the seat and the harnesses don't engage for like, four inches i would say it's like what the fuck is the point yeah they don't engage for like four inches and you can just see and then his head hits Mm. and then the head the cage compresses dude it was hard i didn't want to put it in and then honestly i didn't want to put it watch that video i wouldn't either i wouldn't either really see even like when you would go frame by frame that's when it was super well i felt like it was important the damage has been done and it was important to show and also like like we said this is a learning thing and also like I just know how some people are. Like, oh, they didn't even crush so hard. And I was like, we need to show this. Like, it was basically as raw as it gets. Like, mm-hmm. no music, no nothing. Just showed everything full back. And it was tough to watch. And, and the YouTube video actually got age-restricted, as you guys know. Mm-hmm. Kind of so if, a, if your YouTube video gets age-restricted, it could be for a number of reasons. But basically, YouTube deems that, that video... Uh, unsuitable for anyone under the age of 18. So in order to view that video, you have to have a YouTube account and the YouTube account has to be like signed in, signed in with verified. a person. Yeah. Age verified that you're over 18, which is a big, 
problem, honestly, for your video getting more views. So like this, this video was doing pretty decent. Not that we really cared. Like normally we're happy if a video is doing really well, but none of us were like, this video is doing good. Cause we were just like, it's just a shitty situation mm -hmm. that you don't really want your video to go. We wouldn't have, we would rather not have had this video. Yeah. But, uh, it was doing, it was getting a lot of views and it was gaining a lot of traction. Then once it got, uh, deemed un, uh, suitable for anyone under the age of 18, it has stopped and has literally gained 3000 views since, in since the last 24 hours since it hit, which is sucks. So hopefully we can get that overturned, but basically it, it lost all traction because, you know, they can't, YouTube can't promote a video that is, you know, it's not appeasable or appealable to the masses. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think that the video like showcased how, like how fast things can go wrong on like the dumbest shit? And that's usually when it, when... You know, That's the true. unthinkable happens is true. something that you would never expect. But <clears throat> do you think that we did like a good job, like showcasing, like, oh my gosh, we had no idea, and this happened. Like, be careful, or or take that into consideration. Or I think we did. I think we did a decent job of it. I mm -hmm. guess we could have done more, but I don't think we did. It was like, kind of like, well, how are you supposed to do it? You know, yeah, like you know, like progressed we, fast through, and then it was like. The thing happened. I really think it was put together right. I mean, it mm -hmm. showed the showed all that. I mean, there was some things that got cut. So, like one of the things that got cut was like me saying, "We're lucky that it happened on this rather than on a bigger jump." Because if it would have happened on a bigger jump, I mean, you're jumping a hundred feet at what, like forty miles an hour at the least. Mm -hmm. If it flipped and landed on the roof from that, those cages don't do shit, as we learned. That would have been a bad deal. Um, and then also like, it was such a fluke thing, I guess, you know, I guess I said, just drive into it. Like I suggested that in the background, you could hear it. Um, and then I think Kyle was trying to land in it. It was one of those situations where if he would have gone a little bit slower, it wouldn't have flipped because it would have just ran into it. And if he would have gone a little bit faster, it wouldn't have flipped because he wouldn't have like, like he, it was a, he was going the perfect wrong speed. Yeah. For the worst like turnout, like where it touched that first rail and then kind of got it tipping and then touched the other one, like mm -hmm. I mean, it just it's such a bad deal. Those things jump like shit too, and yeah, they can ams <laughs> jump like shit. Jump they bad. spring up, like unless you have aftermarket. I don't know. I just that is true. They were they were like, oh, you have to jump with this special technique, and we're just like, I don't know. We just fucking hit yeah, the jump. Yeah, like hitting the brake before he would hit the jumps. So that way, it would like compress the front shocks and then hopefully rebound at the right time off the he, lip he didn't do it on that one no. that was the one time that he didn't do that which is probably part of the reason part of the reason as well i don't know and honestly i don't think it's kyle's fault either no no so like and i can't imagine how bad he feels yeah I, I overlooked it. I didn't even think anything of it. CJ didn't even want to film it because we didn't think it was going to even... Yeah, I wanted yeah. to go it's home. End of the day thing. We Alex was waiting on me to go out to eat, and I was already late. That's why she pulled up because she was been waiting for so long. She's like, I'm just going to come and see what you're doing. And I was like, well, I was, you know, yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to be even cool. I'm glad you're okay, though, Ken. Like, this could be so much worse, and we could be having such a different conversation. So the fact that you are, you know... As okay as you are, mm -hmm. yeah, like, dude. Talk, what a blessing just in a terms of the situation. Yeah, inconvenience for a couple months, but you're taking you've been it, you're so handling positive. it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you you have been hella positive, even by many standards, even a more positive. Ken, do you think that's the drugs? Uh, no, I. <laughs> He's not I, taking it. Ryan, you I remember your them? your dad always said, "You can either stay mad about something, or you can get over it." Very and true. And I have. I can either get mad and just have a shitty time, or I can just get over it and try Jesus, and like look Ken. at the positive side of things and just be like, "Yeah, I can walk." Yeah, I, okay, yeah. you're a fucking Ken. legend, Ken. Oh, for that. Yeah, Ken. Because just getting mad about it and just having that anger is all it's going to do: raise your blood pressure, make you feel like shit, and just going to have an awful yeah. week. And you know, yeah, it's, definitely. Ken, did you hit your head? Yeah, did I you did. Have a reset, <laughs> <laughs> a little reset, Ken. No, I I love it, and I I truly I can't imagine how you you have handled it so well. Uh, both in your emotional like well-being for yourself and outwards, and I'm yeah. I'm very proud of you. So congratulations! I, I probably I guarantee you I wouldn't be handling it as well as you. No, definitely not. 
And uh, so, yeah, I got to really add points to that for Ken. I mean, yeah, shout out to Big Ken. Yeah, I keep asking him, too. Like, when we're around the house and stuff, I'm like, like, is there anything I can get you? Like, do you want, like, a better chair or something? Like, I'm, like, trying to figure something out it that honest, can, like, help his... It honestly feels better to, like, just fully lay down than, like, try and sit in a chair because mm-hmm. there's, like, still pressure on the back. I was, like, trying to figure out if there's, like, a chair that, like, could, like, help you. I don't know. No, but. it's just it's just nice laying in bed and yeah. just kind of getting the pressure off everything. And mm-hmm. So, that way. just let us know if you need anything, obviously, and got your back yeah thanks thanks boys too bad that we got rid of the recliner i know shitter oh, oh. i'm i i don't i, I don't I'm, I'm glad that thing's gone that was disgusting <laughs> would have been perfect for this moment <laughs> and it's like nope nope i'll be good here for the next <laughs> I'm, I'm good we could turn a bed into one. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> we could set up Evan's Just bunk bed, in bed. <laughs> over the top of the fucking toilet. <laughs> we call it like the the Tempur-Pedic potty. Yeah, the upper decker's oh. upper decker steamer. Yeah, the upper decker sleeper steamer. <laughs> there we go. I think we might be onto something here. I think we might. Mm-hmm. Really you're, you're, at that point you're probably high enough where you hopefully don't get any splash and <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck. Ken. You're a legend. How's your mom taking it? How's your family? She was mad. She was very mad. Like chewing you out? Yeah, she was like, you could have died. You could have been paralyzed, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah. Mom, I'm, I'm okay. Like, you don't need to worry. Like, thank you for being worried, but sorry. I probably wasn't. I probably, I probably didn't help the situation considering this happened on a Tuesday, and I didn't tell her till Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so she found video, out on the video. video. Came no, out, yeah. I, I, I <clears throat> also texted. Told her over text, so it wasn't the greatest uh, way to do it. But how'd you word that? I was like, hey, mom. Um, look at it. Oh, man. Hey, I thought I would let you know I was in a side-by-side accident earlier this week, and I fractured my C7. I'm doing fine. I just have to wear a brace for a couple of weeks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry <laughs> about it. Well, so th- this happened at like 8 o'clock, and I'll we go to the ER, month. and then she sends me a text like as I'm laying in the ER bed, and I was like... I'm not, they're probably going to bed. I'm not going to tell them. I'll, I'll tell her out. I'll tell them tomorrow. Cause you don't want her to worry going to bed. Mm-hmm. So I'll probably just get, you know, get all amped up and go to the hospital and it's not going to help anything. Mm-hmm. And then next day it was like, I had to go to the follow up with the, the specialist and I was like, just forgot about it. And then came back to the shop and just laid on the bed for the rest of the afternoon. And mm-hmm. then Thursday rolls around. And I was like, fuck, I got to tell them, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, well. She was mad about it, but she got over it, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen him since, so. <laughs> I can imagine she was fairly rattled reading that text coming out of the blue. Yeah, and I, I told Cody, I was like, because Cody found out right away because they had supper and met up with Alex. Yeah, they'd seen her. And I was like, Cody, do not tell mom. I don't want her to get all, like, rattled tonight. Yeah, because Cody called me. He goes, hey, Grant hasn't answered his phone. Oop, uh, hey, we hadn't answered his phone in a couple hours. Is he alive? And I was like, yeah, he's here. He's working right now. And he was like, he's at work? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. He I said was, he, well, I was laying in bed all day, basically, that day. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm sure. But. Went upstairs and laid in the guest bedroom, but still, you were here. Ken, you haven't let it slow you down, though. I, I saw some videos or pictures from Saturday night. It looked like you uh, got into the liquor to help well, help I, the pain I, or what? I was going to not drink for a while and then we see the the neurosurgeon guy at the bar we'll, we're getting lunch and he's like yeah you can drink i don't know why you aren't so I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he did say that amazing it's so i was like to- okay and then we go to you know these people down the the road from us they're going to going down south for the winter and so she's trying to like get rid of all the booze in their house mm-hmm. yeah. Ken, was Ken was just being a good to the neighbor. Neighbor. i was just like oh fuck okay i'll, I'll help out <laughs> what is what a Solid neighbor move. So what's the hardest part about drinking now? Is it harder to take shots and throwing them back? Yeah, because ba- it's it, slowed yeah, down. Yeah, because basically can't, that, can't like throw it up there, but I just get a straw and it's nice. Has it slow? Oh, so it slowed down your chug buddy time. I, I can't do that. I can't like go back far enough. But. Well, Ken, we'll get you back in therapy so you can chug buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there physical therapy after this? I've kind of assumed. I would assume so. He didn't say so. I just have to go to a follow up in a couple weeks. Probably take some x-rays deals, and then yeah. look yeah. at it again and evaluate from there. At least two months in the brace, so damn. I'd assume that or maybe slightly more, but we'll see. Is that the brace for two months? Yeah. 
everything. It's kind of nice. It's got padding in it. So it isn't, is it like incredibly uncomfortable or is it, I mean, it's uncomfortable without a doubt, but. Um, I think good. Cause like, even if I like move my head and like the extremities of the brace, I can like feel like it gets a little painful at the extremities. Uh-huh. So I feel like if I didn't have a brace, there's nothing to like. Stop it. Yeah, it's like holding your head in place. So, if, like, I would do that myself. I just feel like I'd get so, like, exhausted all day. True. And I'd probably, like, act, you know, you accidentally move, a, you know, you try and move your whole, you twist move your, your head. head. I feel like that would mess something up pretty bad. My buddy broke his neck in college. And it was, like, right at the heat of, of college getting going. I think he was a freshman or, or a sophomore. That's right. And uh, I remember that. he broke his neck, too. Except his was way worse. His was it? super bad. Yeah, like. Like so close to being like paralyzed, and he like, or even killing him. It was like really bad. You like black out from that. Hmm? Well, which which part? Initially, well, that no, kind of that no. kind of. So he was blacked out when he broke his neck, and they said he was so drunk he fell over the stands onto the track at a football game, and he they said he was so drunk he didn't brace at all for impact. He just hit <laughs> for the impact, and that like saved his life, and um. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really let it slow him down too much either. Like, they were doing shots off of his neck brace, like, the next week, I think. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Damn right. We'll be taking shots off of Ken's neck brace I, in no time. I don't think so, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to do that either. Yeah, I'm good. No, CJ's for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, quick break in the podcast for a word from today's sponsor, True Classic. True Classic makes t-shirts that actually fit. When you've been spending time in the gym, finding the right t-shirt can be incredibly frustrating. Most t-shirts are too tight in all the wrong places or way too big and boxy, but not True Classic. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men get their fit on at an affordable price. Our listeners get access to the absolute best deal they offer. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the code CBOYS at trueclassic.com. Guys, you are wearing the wrong clothes. It's time to level up. Highlight your greatest assets with a tee you can confidently throw on anytime. Girls at Push Up Bras, we have True Classic t-shirts. Their tees are snug around the arms and chest to make your muscles pop and looser in the torso for added comfort. I love wearing True Classic shirts when I'm going out with my friends or my girlfriend because the way they fit around my shoulders and arms makes me feel confident. But they're looser around the torso so I don't feel self-conscious after a few drinks or a big meal. And not to mention, they're the softest shirts I own. But True Classic doesn't stop at tees. They're your one-stop shop for all things menswear, and they make it super easy to build out your wardrobe, too. From polos and workout shirts with the same flattering fit, to boxer briefs designed with a pouch to keep your package nice and comfortable, all their clothing is comfortable, long-lasting, and affordable. Accentuate those poppin' biceps with their activewear crewnecks. They're sun and sweat wicking plus anti-BO. Smell good and never have to say the word moist again. True Classic makes shopping easy. You can bundle your favorites with the pack builder on their site and save even more than the discount that we're offering you today. But don't worry, they didn't forget about the big fellas either. They've got long body options for the tall guys and up to 4XL sizing. It's about time you get your fit together. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic and get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code CBOYS. And free shipping is included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com with code CBOYS. Strengthen your core wardrobe today with True Classic. True Classic. Look good, feel good. Yeah, Jeez. dude, do it for your buddy. Do it for, I'll do it on. for Ken if he wants me to. <laughs> Ken's neck brace is sticky for the rest of the night and just gross. I got two pads. It. I got two sets of pads for it. So there you go. There you, you have go. to shower in the whole rig and everything? No, I got a different one for showering because this one's like soak the water in because it's got padding. Mm. The other one's like just straight up foam. Nice. But. All right, Mike, do you want to go in here? I got to, like, lay down. That's all we get of Ken yeah. today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give give Ken a round of applause. He's a fucking trooper. No, we love you, God. Ken. And also, not to mention, he hasn't been in the podcast studio since this happened because he can't stand up straight oh, in here. true. Dude, he's too big. He's too big. He's too fucking big. The first words out of his mouth <laughs> after he crashed. You say, that. Who breaks their neck and only says, ow, and then I'm too fucking big for this thing. Yeah, that's the legend he said. So we're going <laughs> to get a special extra large cage for Ken. Or maybe he's going to take a Well, I think that's the worst part. Ken so. ain't ever hopping <laughs> in a side-by-side again. Well, you never know. As soon as that happened, I we were being proactive uh, and ordered a cage right away for our side-by-side. Mm-hmm. The the cool thing about an aftermarket cage, much stronger. The, the the possible downside is that they usually are slightly sleeker and lower. Oh. You know, well, it's not really I, I think 
in the front seats of the Razor, he'll be just fine. But I, I don't per, per se say Dude, I don't him. see Ken hop. Ken, <laughs> so, yeah. I forgot to ask you. Ken, are you hopping back in the Razor or are you done? Hold, uh, Only Ken, if can he's you sit behind. down? I have one more question, actually, before we get you off. I'm sorry to you make the fucking. Make you, you we could bring up. the microphone over to him. <laughs> sorry. So where do you go in your no can do career from here? This is no can do part two. Because uh-huh. yes, it's, yes, it's version two. It was no can do for about five years, and then there was a six month stint, maybe even five month, where it, you were leaning towards yes. You were saying yes more. And it seems like you've gotten back into the no can do. Yes, that's that's correct. Gone. Gone. Gone for a, a few months at least. A few months. Light at the end of the tunnel? We'll see. Okay. Do you feel like you want to get back in a razor? Uh, we'll see how this cage looks. <laughs> I don't well, know. You're, you're not like fully. We'll, we'll see if I get some PTSD th- jumping in that thing. That's why I, that's why I was kind of asking, like looking ahead. Do you feel like it's even a horse you want to get back in? I don't know yet. Yeah, we'll understandable. It it's only been less than a week. It has it. It's a week tomorrow. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. But all right, I gotta lay down. All, all right, right. thanks, Ken. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, such a trooper. It's a real bummer that this whole broken neck thing had to overshadow my nipple piercing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I am actually kidding. It did. Well, Mike, you also kind of did that to yourself. Exactly. Though. Yeah, I agree. You undersold I was, a bit. I undersold a lot, yeah. Which I think was part was, of your shtick. Was fun. Yeah, it was. Because you were going to go in and act like it didn't hurt. Yeah, and it did. I And it actually hurts more like now than it did when i did it oh shit really really yeah is it infected no it's doing all right but like every time i readjust it i'm like okay well i don't want to get stuck in one spot so Mm -hmm. you readjust it and it's just it's kind of on fire Mm -hmm. so what sydney think of it doesn't like it doesn't like it really doesn't like it define doesn't like it like doesn't think you should have got it or just like is like gross or is like the s- second one, okay. but it's like every time you know, like an accidental hand brushes over something. Uh I, I touched it. That kind of gross. Really? Though. Yeah. Huh. So does I does Greta not act that way? Good. Accidental hand. It's fine. Right. Accidental the back hand. of the hand. You're use letting yeah. her touch his nipple. The back of the hand. It was the back of the hand. It was oh. like it's like you get more it's like TSA. TSA. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. guys literally jinx that. Well, uh, what's Greta think of yours? Oh, she loves it. So really? she touches it. She oh. came around. She oh, came yeah. around, yeah, I'd yeah, say. Yeah. Like, yeah. puts her yeah. tongue to it and stuff? Yeah, she loves it. Really? Yeah. Uh, nice. mm, I can almost just feel the sarcasm from over here. Huh? huh? <laughs> no, she, she'll she do a tell-all. One day she'll come come on the podcast, and she'll tell you guys all about it. Oh, I was hoping there'd be a lot more to this tell-all than just the nipple. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, I don't want to go into the podcast if she's doing a tell-all. Just exposes Ben. I, I don't need that. But yours isn't infected <clears throat> yet, because Evans is infected. Is it? Yeah. Oh, really? What talk about late in the game infected? for an infection? Uh, like last like Thursday. Whoa! Uh, uh, recently, uh, Evans said last Thursday. And blood and crust. Oh man! What? From like what? Times? I have no idea. Maybe the hot tub. Uh, that could be. Oh, our hot tub guy has uh, been off duty ever been since he broke his neck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, and it was tough because like. If there was any time for Evan's nipple piercing to get infected, it would have been the day after he did it when he went in the swamp. Into the swamp. With the snow bike. But the fact that it's just happening now, like when you get yours like uh, three months ago, I don't even know. All right. We got two left here. Mm -mm. And we're not doing the parking situation anymore. I think that's lame. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, off (laughs) that idea. No, I mean, like, I want to get it off of something good. I just think the whole nipple thing is, it's it's (laughs) It's lame. It's played out. It's played out. I think it's played out. People are getting bored of watching it. I think, (laughs) no, people are getting bored of watching it in that aspect of the parking situation. Mm -hmm, Because Micah's was boring. Yeah, Mike, you kind of did do that. What are you going to do? Luckily, No, I agree. I don't know how it reacted either, but anyway. So now uh, there's got to be one way. Like you guys got to be like put up to each other. Fuck. And like the a lo- foot race. A foot race? I Too would, lame. <laughs> pretty good though. It's pretty funny. Just because. Okay, love okay, to, the reason. This, wait, 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 wait. What if we did like who can run the farthest? Oh gosh. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh boy. Honestly, both like, CJ and both I of you took me about runners. five minutes long. At least so. he's got a little bit of. He's been in the gym in the last six months. Sperm count. 
Okay, oh! how funny would that be? If like you had sperm lower count. just whatever. Whoever has the lower sperm count? For the record, I know for a fact CJ's not planning nor expecting to have a lower sperm count. Really? Why do you think that I'm not? Because you want it so bad. So yeah, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm going to uh, at I'm least once a week CJ's this test. like, yo, what? we're not doing anything tomorrow. We should go into the sperm bank and get our sperm Is it count. sperm or testosterone that you want to test? I mean, it's technically sperm. both. Or both. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, like, sure. like, it's like. Your sperm count. Dude, I, f- I love it. That's a great idea. Fuck. Just, this just happened well, right I now. You guys like just like watch this You idea have happen. the least, so now you get. Even which, more that's demasculated. That's a reward, though, I would say. Having the lower sperm count, because then you have less probability of getting a girl pregnant. True. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, a big yo, upside to that. Your girlfriend. Also, if that's got, your goal, unless your goal is the other thing, then then it's then it's a, not a good thing. Okay, so you you're saying that the person that has the most should get the. I guess I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I'm down to do it, but I don't necessarily think I'm gonna have more. But I it, just thought it would more so be funny. To I do see like what everyone's th- that as if it was between the. We'd probably all do it, but if it was between you two and whatever, like that's good. Dude, we'll just think, think of something. The dumb, like that might Pretty be dumb. even dumber. Than the parking situation. <laughs> Imagine explaining that to the nipple piercing guy. <laughs> so what are you in for? Oh, I the lower sperm count. The lower. <laughs> Jesus. I jerked off in a cup and mine wasn't as good apparently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, to twist it up to you couldn't do the higher sperm count has to get it. Just to level then it's like, I, yeah. I mean, I'm down to do that. I don't know so if that's funny. necessarily the greater thing. I think maybe even like the foot race would be funny. But also, I mean, both of them would be funny. It just mm. depends on how it gets. We filmed. could do a triathlon. I can't really swim, but I guess that'd no, be good for you. Not a triathlon. I mean, just mean like holy shit, foot Ryan. race, foot Ryan, race. Ryan, sperm, yeah. sperm count, and then we've got one other thing. Ryan was talking like he couldn't run to the end of the driveway. I can't do a triathlon. No, no, not run the triathlon. I want to the start the whole shot from the race. That's it. But I think if it were running on a on a foot race like that, training would be involved. Like, would you not want? I'd probably try to get the stamina up a little bit or the top speed up a little bit to not get a nipple piercing. Well, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'd probably work out once a month. I mean, at this point, month. maybe we should have a thing where it's like the last person standing doesn't have to get it. Because Be- ultimately... Well, f- are you fighting? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying like the get last... The ring, I like that. The last person without a nipple ring doesn't have to get it. Be- so like, let's say Ryan and I do a competition. Whoever... Doesn't have to get it. They are now the nipple thing is done because right. otherwise it's like I thought that too. It's like no matter what, you already know you're gonna get it. So it's like, what am I even holding out for? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone's had a situation where it was a competition, like a fair shot where they were at a spot where they could have. Because like I raced, <laughs> not ben. me. Ken's was the best. Competition. You were in a hot dog. Oh yeah. Well, you <laughs> broke the rule. I, yeah, but I, it wasn't fair. <laughs> Ryan and Ken. Ryan was supposed to get it, but then he out finagled Ken. <laughs> yeah. Ken had to get it. Evan lost a hot dog eating competition. Ben lost a race, as I said. So, like, in 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 reality, like Ryan could have had one. I could have had one. Obviously, but I agree with that. Yeah. The the, the like last I, person standing. Otherwise, there's like no point. Yeah. I'd just be like, dude, I'm gonna have to get this shit anyways. Yeah. Damn, so I made it to the top two, huh? Eh? How about the last person? So whatever comes out of me and yours has to do both, because like you have to go out with a oh. finale. Oh, dude. yes. Yes. Finale. Yes. Mm. It's mostly just, the again, the, the after pain. Doing Yo. both of them, like, at one time, once the, that first one goes in, you're like, eh. Yeah, I literally almost was like, screw it. Do the second one. It'd be funny, but I, it still hurts. I love that. You know what's yeah, funny is, like, both, I'm not that afraid stuff. of getting it. I'm almost just like, ah, whatever. It'll be, like, funny kind of thing. But Ryan is really not trying to get it. Mm-mm. No, yeah. Which almost makes me want to try harder. <laughs> to, to to make to, him get it, yeah. <laughs> but like, if I am to lose, I I know it's gonna hurt, and I'm not gonna be necessarily stu- super like down to go do it. But I just know it's gonna be legendary, dude. I just, double nipple piercing. I just yeah, don't legendary. have the nipples for the li- for the limelight. None of us do. I don't know. You know? I don't think any of. And us also, do. I just don't. don't Maybe Evan. Know. What's a nipple for the limelight look like? I don't <laughs> like, know. what is that? I just, I just, I really don't want to get it. Ryan walking around with nipple piercings is just something a little <laughs> bit too, like you guys, it, everyone is kind of like, yeah, but Ryan, I, uh, they're going to be like, whoa, this dude's going to get flagged. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> it's going to be way funnier, actually, if he has one. Fuck. Can I get a shake from you guys that whoever it is, is double? 
Sure. I'm a little clammy right now just talking about it. Double nipple piercing. <laughs> Whoever loses this. I love Whatever that. the next thing I is, that. double yeah, nipple so, piercing. So like, yeah, hopefully it's something we can agree on that's like moderately fair. I agree. Yeah, yeah I think we it has don't to want to have any too. bad taste. Like it can't be like a thing where it's like favoring, you know, someone one of us sperm to win. count. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that like, seems super random though. That seems load. extremely random. You would not know looking at us two who's gonna have the lower <laughs> or higher sperm count. I, I mean, like. There's no advantage in that. Like, if it was between who can wheelie a pit bike longer, obviously I'm going to win that. If it's between who can wheelie a quad longer, like, obviously he's going to win that. So you you want to leave it up to, like, 100% chance. Not no, necessarily. No skill, no I think it has to be, like, involved. a fair no, match. Like, no. when me and you raced our cars, we didn't know who was going to win. Okay, yeah. It, we, were, we were like, this might be close, but we truly don't know. And it, it we're thinking it's going to be close, though. So, so that was, like, a good instant to do it. Okay. If we were yeah. like racing Ken and his Tesla Plaid against me and my GTR, we'd be like, that's just dumb. Like, I might as well just head to the nipple piercing shop right now, kind of thing, you know? So, you do like the sperm count idea? I'm not against it, but just because I mean, it is if, random. If people think it'd be funny, I'm down. I Imagine it just comes just, back, my sperm count is zero. <laughs> They're like, you are just tragic completely infertile. Dude. I'm just like, no just shit. A, a bummer day for you in general. <laughs> what, what would you do? <laughs> I don't really know. Would I, you celebrate? I feel like you would be kind of happy. I would, I'd be like, I'd be more in shock. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> Look at him ponder right now. Like, I don't know if this is a good or bad <laughs> thing. Short term, probably really good, but long term. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, I think long term, I would be bummed. But like short term, I'd be like, this ain't so bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> mixed emotions. <laughs> yeah, it would be. I mean, seriously. I don't know how I would feel. I definitely probably wouldn't be crying. I, I mean, I definitely wouldn't be crying. <laughs> I'd probably be a little that. quiet in the back trying to figure out, like, <laughs> wait, crying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I feel like I'd feel like that. I'm trying like, to figure out where you're at right now. It'd be now. fucking That's funny, though. Imagine. That's for sure. At least we have it on video. Imagine. We title the video. <laughs> CJ yeah. is infertile. Yeah. And <laughs> finds out he's infertile. <laughs> yeah. 10 million views. Emotional. <laughs> Emotional and asterisks. <laughs> he's just crying. He's so happy. <laughs> the doc's like, now, now, I know, but there's many of other options if you want to have kids someday. I'm like, what? No, I'm just, these are tears of joy. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. You, you, you might dumb. have to cut this, but this is just reminding me of <clears throat> all this. Uh, I guess sperm talk. Rich sent me. He sends the most. Out, <laughs> what? <laughs> Rich sends the most outlandish, outlandish like Instagram stuff. And he the last I probably one he, already have to cut this. Yeah, but no, the, it's okay. The most recent one that he sent me is just this meme that says, "Bro, imagine if ejaculation wasn't billions of microscopic sperm cells, but it was just one big sperm cell, and every time you jacked off, you had to kill it before it squirmed too far." Pretty dark, Mike. Yeah, dark. Is, right. I mean, probably wouldn't wouldn't do it so much. <laughs> probably not. That's for sure. I'm not much of a killer. <laughs> you know, not even. Nope. No way. All right. Yeah. So so we'll figure that out. We'll figure out a good bat between you guys. I think it's a it's a good win ending because someone actually wins out of the end of mm -hmm. all this. God, I hope it's me. I. <sighs> I guess for your sake, I do too. I kind of do too. I feel like it'd be a nice <laughs> way for me to like, I don't know. Spice it up. Spice it up. I don't know. It'd be a nice contribution. <laughs> it would be. End. Oh, that's what like I was... I, it's like a way for me to give my body up for well, the Well, I was going <laughs> to like, like elaborate on that too. Like it's crazy stuff that we do for the channel that like, I mean, I try to have a very open mind about like anything that I like have to do. I, I'm a little bit too much where I don't get even upset. I know that's kind of like, you know, Ken gets really upset when we ask him to do certain things and everyone, but like, it's so funny. The stuff that we just like have to do for the channel. Like I just am like, well, I got to do it. I mean, like we can always say no, but yeah, but it, it, it's if just you like really you just, didn't want to do it though, you don't have, like right. you don't have to, you're just more so put in a situation where you're like, <sighs> going to be good. I don't really want to, but like my calculation on this is that, Everything's going to be fine, and overall, it'll be a win. Yeah. Well, it did remind me of the nipple piercing and CJ's body enhancements. Remember when you dyed your hair blue like Ninja? That was fun. That was I a good time. It. Those mother... Was it you? Oh, yeah, that's that right. It was a prank. Well, we basically ass. made Shauna do it, but... That's <clears> right. I just blame her for it. Yeah, that was really but funny. I own that. Yeah, yeah. You had to walk around college like that. That was At least good. now, you just, like, you just got nipple piercings year-round. These yeah. cost all the time. 
Yeah, I guess it's a little bit easier to explain. Dude, I remember... Uh, dude, fuck. <laughs> yeah, my I look like Ninja. Ninja was really super did. popular back then. And I guess I would just wear a hat when I'd go in mm-hmm. and like hoodie and stuff. But people could tell... People probably just thought that you were a big Ninja fan. They probably thought I was going through some I think shit. at the time, <laughs> it worked out because of Ninja. I think now, at least around here, like, you have blue hair, you know? A little scary. I don't know. I look back on that. Like, I'm glad I did that. Or I'm glad that it happened. Yeah, it was funny. I thought it was awesome. People thought it was funny. Um, my ex-girlfriend, we were, like, on the on the rocks at the time. And when I come home with blue oh, hair, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Oh, she did that? not like that. No? Really? No. That was, that was yeah, that was one of those times. It's like it wasn't the final, but it was like, like she was already like, "Come on, I'm not huge on this whole YouTube thing." And then you come home with blue hair. You well, fucking gonzo, dude. It happened to me on a video. I, mean, yeah, I don't know what to tell exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah, it was. It, it could have been worse. It did not you last. You could have got the that. bowl cut like Mike. Remember that? Oh, that's right. I feel like blue hair is a little bit worse, man. Mm-hmm. What? That shit was like. And the bo- I months. disagree. I disagree, but. dude. Then the bowl cut? You can the just get a buzz, The first bowl bro. cut I got? Well, I mean, true. Bro, you could just get you, a buzz. Yeah, I was like, you could have got a buzz, too. You're still going to have blue, though. For, yeah, for a little bit, but. I don't know. Uh, the, the first bowl cut I had was so aggressive. Perfect. It was so horrendous. Oh, dude, yes. I thought you were going to say perfect. <laughs> yeah. It was horrendous. You're telling me you would rather have a bowl cut? Then blue hair. Hey everyone, quick break in today's podcast for a word from today's sponsor, Vessi. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we love our Vessis. But if you're new here, listen up because you're about to find your new favorite pair of shoes. Vessis are 100% waterproof, but yet look and feel like a normal sneaker. They're the perfect everyday shoes and forget having to throw on a pair of clunky boots when the weather turns. Vessis are made from Dimatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps your feet cool in the summer and warm in colder weather. Vessis feel just like a normal pair of sneakers, but yet are 100% waterproof. The reason I wear my Vessis every day is because around here, you really don't know what you're going to get into during the day. In the morning, I might be sitting in my office. In the afternoon, I might be outside filming in the rain or washing my car. And there's really nothing better than having dry feet all day. My favorite part about my Vessis is they don't look like a waterproof shoe. I can wear them out to eat, but not have to worry about changing my shoes if we're going to head out and go filming in the rain. Vessis are my go-to shoes by my door. Check them out in the link below and get your own pair of Vessis. I promise you, you won't regret it. Go to Vessis.com slash CBoysTV or use code CBoysTV and get $25 off each pair of adult Vessi shoes. $25 off and free shipping to the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Thanks, Vessi. Now back to the podcast. Um, I think it's not <laughs> as bad, but like if I had to choose between you guys giving me a bowl cut in my sleep or dyeing my hair blue, I'd take the blue just because I'd be like, it's more funny, more out there, but the bowl cut, I feel like it's more repairable. Like if you have a bowl cut right here, you just fucking buzz it up a little bit and you can still have That's a nice true. haircut. You can, you can fix if you up. have your blue hair, it's completely blue down to the roots. You're going to have to full on go bald. That's what I'm saying. And also, like, blue hair is more memorable than a bowl cut. Some people just run that shit, dude. <laughs> True. No. And people do run the, like... What do you mean more memorable than well, a bowl cut? I guess, like, but me then, in a thumbnail with a blue hair or a, but then when you, a bowl cut? But I keep mean, in mind, I think I got a bowl cut, like, three times. Yeah, Nobody asked me it. why. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Yeah, why the last you, time why, I did it was, was just... Wait, maybe it was the second time. Either way, I remember I got a bowl cut because I thought it'd be so funny and I was going to surprise you guys, but we were filming the Christmas video. We were buying toys That's and right. I was wearing a beanie the whole time and I pulled my beanie off and like, I don't even think anyone laughed. <laughs> <laughs> like they were just like, oh. He's expecting this big unveil. Yeah, it kind of. And it, it was bad Gosh. timing. And you were like, yeah, everyone was like, oh, when did you do bulk? Yeah, what? Nice. nice. <laughs> cool. Well, let's wrap this video up and then... <laughs> yeah, why'd you do that? Maybe just put that beanie back on, Mike. Yeah, so I definitely made a mistake there, but th- that's fine. But as far as, again, like I said, I did it three times. Just so many people, you know, tag me in the Oliver Tree, just like anyone gets tagged in anything. Ryan gets tagged in a bunch of jet ski stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, Still hurts. Still hurts. <laughs> hey, how is that going, Ryan? Such a dead horse, dude. Oh, I haven't Actually, sold it. yeah. I, I mean, it's... It. Any offers? No. Dude, if it makes you feel any better, well, I... <laughs> I feel like my boat's probably not in the same category as your jet ski. But yours is also a large N- Nobody, Nobody wants to fucking buy it. <laughs> nobody wants to buy a boat in October. Yeah, I put up on September. Facebook. Yeah, I put up on Facebook goes. and uh, and was just like, oh, well, you know, maybe someone will want it. And I, I even, like, lowered the price quite a bit lower than, not quite a bit, but, like, lower than I bought it for. And they're not going to have to pay sales tax because they're buying from a private party. And 
Only people that were biting on it were just kids trying to talk. And I got so annoyed of just being hit up by kids literally harassing me to talk. And, like, they would, like... But isn't it pretty easy to tell? Like, yeah. It's normally... It's just, like... No, a, I know. That's yeah, why I would just leave it. Just literally and then this one kid kept asking, like, hey, when can I come see this? I'm like, bro, <laughs> you aren't buying... The, like, it was just this kid, like a little kid. Like you can just was, tell. Yeah, and then I knew he was a follower because, like, I went and looked and he followed me. And, uh, but he was six. Yeah. And that, so I ended up just taking it down. So I still have it too. Well, you completely so I'm just took telling, the ad down. Yeah. Cause I was just sick of getting harassed by it. Nobody was looking for it. I didn't have that good of pictures. So I don't know, but clean it up. Speaking about water sports today, we went to uh U motors yeah, dope. and got to build our Centurion for next year. So they, U motors and Centurion are working with us and, uh, basically like sponsoring our ride for next summer and giving us like a demo boat to use for the, for the summer. And we got to pick out whatever boat we wanted and fully customize Everything. it. However, however we want it. We could have done a pink boat with like yellow interior. We could have made the ugliest boat. I, I told were, Joe we were going to do a green boat with a red interior and she didn't say anything. And then she, she said, saw Please me. Don't. Yeah. She saw me in the district. She's like, Hey, are you, you actually gonna? Are you still thinking about the green with the red? And I was like, no, that was a joke. And she's like, oh, thank God. I thought you guys were serious. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to bring up was like uh, some of the I forget his name, but one of the finance guys there. He they've all been kind of having fun customizing boats that maybe they like they had. He's like, look at this. This one's crazy. And it was like black, pink, and green. It looked like a Whoa. you know an Articat like for a. It looked like like a chick six hundred like Articat. Just like a retro. It was cool. Neon green. And, and how pink. they were pushing us. They're like, "Yep, you guys should really go loud, really loud on this." Yeah, and they were. Showing, but I'm like, that is not going to resell. And I think that yeah. is, a, is a part of this. So I mean, we're not going to tell you what colors we did because oh, we aren't. Yeah. Shoot, no, I, I think don't we know. Can. I'll tell you. I, didn't, I think I didn't we can it. unveil it. But it's, yeah, you're it's right. Gonna be sick. Can we unveil the 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 price of it, the price. Okay, so keep in mind they they said basically come in, design it, pick whatever boat you guys want, and then use it the entire summer, and then we'll sell it at the end of the summer. We'll, same yeah, same process, demo. go through, get it's a, a new demo. one. Yeah, and so they were like, seriously, go all out, get the biggest one that you want. So we we're do like, whatever okay. you want, like whatever one you want, like whatever color. And we still were like. Okay, yeah. But we so don't want to do them dirty or nothing. Yeah, no. so so right. Luke, the guy making the, the boat with us, uh, the salesman, was going through and optioning it out with everything. And he was like, oh, do this, do this, do this. He, he actually, basically he just said, just put whatever you guys options. think is good. But we Guess were, what the final total was, Ryan? It's a 26-foot boat. Yeah, this 26, will be good. It's the so biggest. 26 and a half. Yacht, it's yacht 26 certified. 26 and a half. I am going to guess 265. No. No? That's low. Le that's low? Low. Add an extra one hundred thousand. No. No. Oh no. Okay. No. It was, it was Jesus Christ. Three twenty. But still, what? <laughs> That's yeah. a nice suburb house. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of really fancy boats are are that price. And you know, I, it's think, not like I think it's that just, is like it's the not... price of a really nice boat these days. I think when we were customizing it, that's what I had stuck in my head. I'm like, let's just do something that looks incredible in a good way, not in oh, a loud I'm way. Pretty... And then it, it will sell and everybody will be happy. But to preface this, Ryan's boat is very large. It's got everything you could ever ask for as far as a wake and fitting people, but it's 23 feet. We were going to go for the 24 and a half foot. Which would have been sense. CJ's we boat. set on it. Oh, yeah, I guess. So same size as CJ's boat. Big boat. And then he's like, you're not doing the 26 and a half? Yeah, I was like, I kind of was leaning towards the 245, but he kept like, like I'd do the 226 and a half. I was like, Jesus, like. And then we started envisioning ourselves. Whatever. We were just like, fuck it, I uh, guess. Like, might as well go big. We're not paying for it. <laughs> yeah. So, you, like, yacht certified <laughs> means a few things, I'm sure, but we can have as many people as we want on it. Yeah, As like long as you're not overweight capacity. Oh, there oh, is. Okay. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. It's a weight capacity instead of a people capacity. Which, I honestly, I think is going to be more people than, we'll, obviously, if we wanted to, we could get yeah. people Dude, overweight. But It's so big. Like, you could fit 35 people on there. Three, we've had, like, 28 on yours. True. <laughs> it's another three and a half feet. That's bigger, true. That is crazy. Which is also wider then. Which uh got to give a huge shout out to you motors for that. Yeah. And yeah. working with us, we bought in a couple bikes and there and we Centurion. Should, yeah. Um, yeah, but anyway, so that was cool. Um, so we got a golf ball bandit. <laughs> on oh, the loose. yeah. He's got a name now. 
Yeah. Golf, so for golf, those of you guys who don't know already, Friday morning, um, some random ass dude. This was so he did it right. He like reversed all the way in in his truck. It's like he'd been here before. Reversed in, hopped out, just cool as a cucumber, all by himself. Puts his or tailgate was already down, and just goes grabs this giant bucket, dumps it, golf balls, probably five hundred golf balls. So many, <clears throat> a lot of golf balls. Jump, go all over the parking lot. Cool as a cucumber, just turns around. Walks right back in, gets in his car. Like, it was, like, so weird. Like, the way he was moving was, like, just weird. That's what, like, it didn't seem like a prank to me. It is. It seemed a little malicious. Yeah. So, do you guys think it was malicious? I don't. I don't know. I, I say malicious in like kind of a joking like, tone. Yeah. Like, no, it like wasn't. No, maliciously I dumping golf balls. Like it's kind yeah. of. Yeah. You know. It's. But at the same time, I feel like I personally feel like it was done because he doesn't like us. Like it was like a, I don't like these guys, so I'm gonna do this kind of thing. It was that, just that's so what I mean mildly by mildly inconvenient. Yeah, but that's the thing. It wasn't like a majorly... <laughs> like it's so weird. Like, if he would have thrown the golf ball through a window, I would have been like, okay, that guy's got a problem with us. Yeah. But, like, I still can't decide. Dude, can you imagine my terror pulling into the parking lot and seeing golf balls everywhere and all of our cars outside, my car outside, I'm like, yeah. oh, Fuck. Brian texts me. I go, oh, no. Yeah. I thought someone came in and was like, like maybe just started teeing, teeing off, off or something last night. So I go and get on the cameras, and I see this guy pulling in and doing that. <laughs> Dropping the golf balls. Yeah. So this guy is on the loose. He's still at large. Do we we have the we where he is? police, the sheriffs, not the state troopers, though. They're not helping us. <laughs> and the FBI. The FBI <laughs> helping us find this guy. He's on the loose. Well, dude, the... Other like little part that I figured out while I was cleaning them up was some of those golf balls were like these random SpongeBob golf balls, which I'm sure other people can buy. I'm sure I'm not the only people. Like, I don't with, know. I think it would be just you. Probably made by Nickelodeon. Probably. For you. I mean, they were a gift, but I remember the golf course that I've used those golf balls at and lost. And I'm then sure they show up back in our driveway. <laughs> I did. I did. That's what Evan was kind of like, guys, does it have to be someone from a golf course? But it was such an impossible amount, amount of, of balls, balls to acquire it if you was. don't work at a golf so course. So that's kind of where I'm at. Like range balls or anything like that. I don't I mean, think we're like. Like somebody picked those balls out of. A pond or something like okay. they had to go to extreme lengths to get that many golf balls. I Guys, would believe so. I have breaking news. I might have. I might have said some stuff just to carry the story on, but I have a, a actual lead oh. on who the guy is. Okay. So as you guys know, I've been posting about it all weekend, uh -huh. trying to make sh like get some kind of tip. Like okay. this guy here's this truck, and there's a few people that would respond. They'd be like. That not necessarily on my DMs, but people in the area back. Like, hey, I saw that truck driving by the Cormoran store the other day. Hey, I saw that. It's Whatever. Too small of a town. One of my buddies who works at you. I suppose it's fine to say U Motors on Pelican. They're mm -hmm. having new sheds being built, like storage units. And one of the crew members working on the construction there is the guy. <gasps> he sent me security camera. Uh, screenshot of that guy pulling in with the red bucket in his oh, back. Oh, yeah, red bucket. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, that's him. And he said, yeah, and there's also a bunch of golf balls like around where they were working. So we know the guy. He's the golf the ball golf bandit. Go what do you expect? The golf ball bandit, dude. So we should invite him reckless <laughs> golfing with us. <laughs> dude, he might be too reckless. Dumping <laughs> golf balls and shit. Who knows what he'd do if he had a golf cart? Probably dump those too. I'm just still confused. Easy, like, yeah. So that's my thing. So it's like, I finally, I know where I can find this guy. We just mm -hmm. got to go over there while they're working and we'll find him. Unless he quit because now he knows we're onto him, which I didn't want to post that I have a lead because I was afraid maybe I'd tip him off. Mm, but, uh, you know, it's like the severity of that prank. We don't know if it was like actually a mean thing or if it was something just to be funny. But even if it was a mean thing, it's like, 
we can't really respond with like retaliation. We can't re- retaliate with something worse than that. You know, and so if it's funny, it's like you can prank them back. Is there and if you're worse, even if it was though? mean, even if it was mean, <laughs> I want to prank them back too. But yeah, well, there is things you can do. What's worse than dumping a 500 golf balls in somebody's parking lot, dude? Pennies. <laughs> True, because I yeah, picking we, them up. We dump a thousand dollars in pennies. A thousand dollars. No, no, we're what, what if we did this? What Thumb if we tax. did this? What we if, slash his tires? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. What, what if we? Set up like a lemonade stand on the okay, corner. I like that. Who's going to work it, though? <laughs> Fat kid. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's idea. right. Okay. The only person suitable to work a lemonade <laughs> stand. And we sell all the golf balls, and we split the profits with the guy. Well, why are we splitting them? You no, know we should do is so sell okay, those. Right. Like, why the fuck are we yeah, sell the golf balls. <laughs> sell the golf balls for 20 bucks a pop on the website. We profit from it, and we're like, ha, ha, who's the winner now? You know, we're like, thanks for the free inventory. We just made $10,000. Okay, actually. All right. All right. <laughs> Who's buying them golf balls? Here we balls? go. Here we go. We set up the lemonade stand with the fat kid on the corner right across from where he works. And we stare at him. <laughs> no, we start selling these golf balls. To our friends. To oh, my to God. Anyone. We list golf balls for sale, 20 bucks, and we just start selling them like hotcakes to a bunch of people that we already had lined up. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did I dump these things? We're like, yeah. He comes up. Hey, what's going on here? We're like, oh, some guy just dumped all these golf balls in our front lawn. So figured might as well just sell them. Man, people really want these old golf balls. Okay, that is an option. That's not what I was thinking. But we start selling them. The guy comes. He's a golf, he's a golf, golf ball, ball maniac. Yeah. Right. He can never drive past golf balls for sale. So he's going to probably buy them all. So he's going to come in and go, hey, I see you're selling three for 20. Uh, I'm interested. Boom. Sting attack. FBI comes out, oh. of the, out of the reeds. Get on your hands and knees. Okay. I was thinking we sell, <laughs> sell it back to him. He comes back, dumps some more. We basically repeat the cycle. Keep making money. Infinite he keeps money paying glitch. paying money. Yeah, it's a money glitch. Like on a video game. That might, that's a better idea. It's going to take a little bit of time, but genius. we'll be able to build it up. What if our fat kids catch on? They cut us out. We'll pay them well. <laughs> they start cutting cut us out. out. <laughs> they start they selling ball, golf balls on the side. No, but seriously, I do want to like, I want to prank them back, but it has to be something comparable and lighthearted. Like, I don't want to do it like maliciously, even if, even though we don't know that he might not fuck with us or hopefully he was just pranking us. But also, I'm not really a big fan of like getting pranked by our subs or just anyone like that. Like there's not really any purpose to that. And uh, now we know our security cameras suck dick they and do. we're getting new ones. Now we actually have a new system getting installed uh, next week. So by the time this by goes time live, this we, goes yeah, out. we already have like 4k shit. We're going to zoom in on your face, like screenshot it. Blast we'll you. you. Blast we'll have your, your license plate. Shit. Yep. Yeah, actually, no funny business. Yeah, and yeah. so we'll actually no be very, very secure because this guy is no joke that's coming over to put all these things in. I just still am confused. Yeah, that's, I that's just, why I also, I want to ask him, like, why'd you do it? Dude, he's living in my head rent-free with the, just Dang. like, if he came and like poured gasoline on our lawn and killed our lawn, I'd, I'd be, be like, like, okay, it's obvious that guy does not like us. That makes sense. He was trying to kill the grass. He came in and keyed the cars. I'd be like, he doesn't like us. He wanted to key the cars. But the golf balls. Maybe he's just <clears> a real, he wants <throat> reckless golfing three. That's what I wondered too. And that's yeah. what I really have just concluded from it all. Yep. That's the only thing that makes sense. And it even is. if he didn't, we're going to take it as an opportunity to do so. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. Ultimately, it was pretty exciting for me. I found it fun. And uh, like I, I thought it was funny. Like, But even if it was mean, it, it like... Gave me some, uh, <laughs> I don't know, excitement. No, it's, I say, yeah. I just, the inner, like... Otherwise, uh, things become... Inner FBI. No, well, I got well, another thing. The inner 12-year-old came out of me, and I was just... Oh, my like, God. Why was I so stoked that we have unlimited golf balls? Yeah, I know. I don't Mike even know how to golf. just back in the group chat, I'm buying a new driver. Everyone else is, <laughs> everyone else is like... Oh, what's happening? Mike, just, everyone's like, what is going on? Like, who, who would do this? Do you think they're mad? Like, what? And then Mike just responds... I'm going to buy a new driver today. <laughs> it's like a you were sign. Yeah, it's I was excited. Sign. So speaking of people leaving us gifts at our shop, when we came back from Heydays, so there was a cassette tape oh, taped yeah. to our door. 
Well, that was to the door. I thought someone gave it to us in the I did too. No, did cassette too. tape taped tape to our to door. door. Like, so they came while we were gone, taped it. I, I'm like, what the frick? Like, we, I, I tried it. playing it, but I couldn't find any. No, it's on there. You probably have to yeah, rewind it. Cassette. You have no. to rewind it because I played it I'm through, just saying, like, I don't you know what we have. Oh, yeah. No, well, let me tell you the story because I did. So we got back from Heydays. It was late, right? It was dark. And I'm like, hmm, what the heck? Why is this just a cassette creepy tape? Cassette. And it, yeah, it's kind of creepy. And it's taped to the door. And it just says Seaboys TV mixtape. No, I'm just. Believe me, when I when I listen to it, it, yeah, it, like, it, you should listen. If if you're thinking it was Ryan, you would really <laughs> laugh when you hear it. Because I would literally be in tears watching Ryan sing this in person. It's, so, it's live? So that's like, I was like, okay, nice. Well, well, it's, 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 it? it's, it? it's not songs uploaded onto it. It is a guy singing. <gasps> so he made I want to listen to it so bad. For, he made two songs for us. First off, this guy needs, we should like at least try to help fund him because if, you, if you're if you an artist and you're putting your, your new hit single on a cassette tape, what the fuck are you doing, dude? It's 2022. I might just around. have a different market, CJ. No one uses cassette tapes. Cars don't even come with that shit anymore. So I had to look around. Keep in mind, it's dark. And now I'm like, okay, this is kind of creepy. And I'm looking around the parking lot. I'm like, what do we have that could play cassette? And I'm like, the Ranger. Ranger. It's like tucked back in the trees, like where it gets like real dark. I'm like, <laughs> walking across the parking lot now, holding this cassette tape. With the cassette. And I'm like, looking around. Because... <laughs> Because I'm like, what the fuck? This is so... Like, it was just weird. Super me. weird. And yeah. I'm like, is this guy in the trees watching me? Probably Like, is he was. trying to Probably see... Probably jerking off. Well, exactly. Who fucking knows, Seeing dude? a man handle you a legit... cassette like that. Well, you don't know, dude. There's a lot That's of creeps out fetish. there. There's a lot of creeps out there. So I uh, I go and I get in the Ranger, fucking close the door, lock that shit. And I'm like, well, imagine someone open the door. So I turn the car on, put the cassette in, obviously, so I can play it, and uh, start playing the song. And it's like a song talking about all of us. <gasps> like it has like we a moment for Ryan. It. it has a moment about <clears throat> Ken. It has a moment about Ben. I just got it says chills. something about Evan's ego. It uh, does. Yeah, it says Evan's head getting too big. <laughs> Better put. Okay. Hand re- no, I don't, no, I'm just straight made up though. Like, but that's exactly how the song sounds. The way it sounds like I gotta, I'm gonna order a cassette player so we can Steve listen to it, TV. dude. Or I is it like, like that bad? I, I'm not. I if you don't want to give him a plug. That's fine. I no, just want, I I want everyone to hear it. Really, he has a label yeah. that's copywriting it, dude. I don't know. I just, I think it was a nice gift, but still whack as fuck. Don't come to our shop. Yeah, dude. it was creepy to me more so. I it would have been less creepy if it was uh, even like a CD, <laughs> <laughs> but like the cassette tape really was like I was like. Who does this? I think the one my cassette. Yo, and it was a full grown man that was singing it. And like the I don't one know, upside man. that he has is that we're talking about it because honestly, simply because it's on it's a cassette, cassette tape. No, it, it was just different. I'd never had that happen. We've had a lot of things, kind of weird things happen at the shop, but never that. Yeah. And I, I I think what was really creepy is I didn't know what was gonna be on this cassette tape. How, you know, was, I didn't know if it was some kind of hit piece on us. I didn't know if it was going to be something really fucked up. I, think I didn't know what I was going to get. And it ended up just being a guy singing, singing a song. About it, us. But I wonder if we Maybe could it was get a it and play a small blip. Bandit. I think we could probably play a small blip over this right here. Maybe. Is that mean? I don't, I'm not saying it in a mean way. I How guess bad I'm is it? <laughs> Hold you up. guys will have to just listen to it. Yeah. We'll, we'll go listen to it after this, and we're going we're gonna to record it just from the car i guess because i don't really know exactly how else we would get a cassette onto the podcast (laughs) um so we'll just record it with like a voice memo or something and then put it in maybe we'll even film our reaction yeah we'll just all pile up in the ranger so that'll be at the end i just don't want to be like a making fun kind of thing because no matter where you're starting in your singing career or whatever i uh you know i i respect it you gotta start somewhere and it's all up from there you know so see boys tv mixtape this is such a podcast exclusive. Pretty cool. Uh, design way better than obviously a CD or an iPod or an iPhone. When I wake up in the morning, my day is motivated. I have drive to get my plans done. By the time I hit the kitchen, I have made my decision. Today is going to be only fun. Throw my plans out the window, just chilling with the cold right now, kicking up my feet in the sun. Call the boys over for Audi ideas Now the YouTube video's done How does it feel To be irresistible Irresistible How does it feel To be 
so free, so free. How do we live? Wild is the vibe here. Vibe here. Living in the sea. Sea Boys TV. Woo! Hey, that's kind of fire. <laughs> See, Jerry knows the words. The new cat barely survives the day. Okay. Call Ken over. Maybe he will cry. Somebody might call him a name. <laughs> That's because he's sleeping. He is still not awake. <laughs> How does it feel? Irresistible. How does it feel? To be so free. How do we live? Wild is the vibe here. Living easy. See boys TV. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You know what? <laughs> It's less creepy Scratch, when it's, not... it's It's less creepy when I'm not in the yeah, in the like, back of the woods listen, listening to this by yeah. myself at night. I like it. I yeah, like this it is too. actually pretty good. I, right, well, the I, second what... time through was good. All right, what's the next Resistible. one? Irresistible. Dude, this is I gas. We should use it in a video. <laughs> if you can get it in an MP3 version. I fucking put it on MP3. I could have. Wild is the vibe here. That's the what? Living easy. See boys TV. All right, next song. Here we go, guys. So that was How Does It Feel. This next one is Life Wide Open. Ooh, plays guitar. Life wide open in the moment. Dedicated trucks are rolling. Loud pipes, cars, bikes, long. Microphone and not a paintbrush. Imagine all the images flying off of the pages. Make a living off of losing. Making music's dangerous. The problem is the probability is low to make it. Looking down the road to see what looks this is like they've fire. made it. Could run for good this is fire. And handle in the chain. This is actually fire. Now they need an anthem. Face pissing off the neighbors. Life wide open in the morning. Dedicated trucks are rolling Loud pipes, cars, bikes, long nights Haven't had so much fun in my life It's a dream, but the scene sure isn't the same as mine Rowdy boys pushing limits, I like it. the pain I, I, just, I like it, this Who's is a good, good little pop it with them dirt bikes Lambo, the Tesla, Mustang, Midnight Slow down, no can do to see the tires smoking Rolling through Taking pictures on their phones and all I see is green lights. It's real life. I'm all in. All right. I, I take back everything I said. This shit's lit. Good job. How do you even record onto a cassette tape these days? Anyways, back to the podcast. Mm -hmm. As that one dude from Fitman Industries once told us. <laughs> you, gotta you gotta start, start somewhere. somewhere. But yeah, it does. <laughs> Man, you really tied like, that that's in. That's a good inside joke there. Ryan had a good point though. Could it be the golf ball bandit? Mad that we didn't. Maybe that's that's no. It was my point. That was my point that I mentioned earlier. I said, I "Oh, did you say that too?" Because I, I know, said you that said earlier when I was. It just came out of, through my mouth. If the golf oh, ball bandit brought fine. that, mixtape. I said tape, that off of the podcast. Okay, once. yeah. Um, if he dude, brought that mixtape, that he, was he has to be the most intricate. Oddly thinking right. pranker. Well, that's ever. where I was like two weird things. Like these are both relatively at the top tier of our strange interactions <laughs> here, and they've happened very close to each other. Maybe he's mad because he thought I give him this cassette tape. They're gonna bring it to freaking Little Wayne's, um, Young Money Records. Get him a record label. That dude's got he's gonna way blow too up much quick. confidence in our he's connections. Gonna, he's gonna bro blow up quick. And uh, he's like, what the fuck's taking so long? It's been a week. I'm going to go and uh, kind of like the mob does. You know, you go ruffle up some feathers over at the at, at a place to get some shit going. So he's like, let's go dump some golf balls. Possibly they're two the same or they're two different. Dude. What we, is he planning next? We need to get Russ in here. nothing, dude. But yeah, we're going to have to get some security. We need that, Russ, that dude, bro. Freaking Russ from uh, Heydays. From let's, Heydays, Let's dude. pop a picture up of this kid. He's I, the I best. freaking love I that kid. Rush, He's awesome. Bro. I followed him on Instagram because he kept saying, like, I'll be your security. I'm like, dude, you're probably like 12, but <laughs> you know what? 
Sure. We got to start no, somewhere. That, that's not what he was saying originally. <laughs> he wanted to be he our wanted, security, bro. No, he wanted to be a part of the group and he want he at any cost. At any cost, and he wanted to know one how much it would cost to be. <laughs> he was a part trying of the to pay. Group. Yeah, he was trying to pay originally, and, and fuck, I said, we gotta pay Evan. And we were like, yeah, what I, the said, fuck is this, Evan? I said, I said, I'm like, sorry, Russ, it, it doesn't quite work like that. And he goes, How'd Evan get in? <laughs> I'm like, Well, I mean, he well, didn't that's pay. A good point, <laughs> but yeah, he had a good point. And then, and then he was like, Well, I'll do anything, anything you guys need. And then I think we were like, Well. We could use security here at Hayden. Yeah, it's like maybe, and he maybe, took that job serious. Maybe you could just, you know, make sure people aren't. I think Mark was maybe like, just I, make sure people aren't touching the Lambo. Bro, and then Russ he had goes like over a vest there. on. He had like a reflective vest on. Like he was, he must have been working there or a volunteer or something. And people were listening to what he had to say. He was just, yeah, he he'd be standing there, and then people would like get close or like take a picture with up, it, and Russ up. would go back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, said, year old. Hey, I said, you're our security guard now. And it, it does kind of sound like he goes, I'm your bodyguard. I'll tackle anyone. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Would. I was like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah like, he would. Why don't dude. you just keep an eye on the Lambo and the SEMA tree? Yeah, just keep people off. And then he, yeah, he immediately starts, all right, Bro, you can't take a look, but just back up. We put Russ over there. He's standing out outside our shop and the golf, co- golf ball bandit shows up. We have Russ wearing a security guard. Costume or outfit or uniform? It'd be a uniform. <laughs> uniform. Sorry, in the golf cart. It might be a with costume a, with a flash. Flash. <laughs> That's cool. Russ would be. He is actually an awesome security guard, and he's only going to get better as he grows older. This is true. This is going to be like a moment in his life where he's like, from here on, he's like, I'm going to be security when I grow up. The best I've of had, the best I've security. Had people though. tell me that I'm going to be an awesome security guard. Dude, he's going to be like Post Malone's bodyguard he's one like day. like a young prodigy. Did you, did you guys see what happened to Post Malone? No. Uh-uh. Bro, he was up on stage doing some show, and he like, there was like a hole, and he didn't see it, and he fucking fell into it and like hurt himself. Like He really broke bad. his ribs, yeah. and like, like it was like he awkward. He had to end the show. Yeah, yeah, like the music's playing. He's like going, he's like being all friendly with the crowd, fucking steps off this thing, just goes... Bam! Like hits his ribs on oh, the other side of it, and then so he's like bad. up on there, like ah, like literally, ah, yeah, like fucking Holy. screaming. He's like ah ah, and like as I'm sure it hurt really bad. And Holy people are just sitting there like fucking filming, filming him, him on TikTok. Dude, I bet that was traumatic for the people in the front, though. They right? Were like, what did we just witness? Right. Well, yeah. And then the music was still playing. I was like, this motherfucker's lip singing. And, and then the they cut that shit. Yeah, it was the backtrack, whatever. But they cut that, and then. Uh, <laughs> That makes sense. He wasn't <laughs> lip syncing. He just had the song playing lightly in the background. So it was a backtrack. Um, but yeah, then they had to cut the whole show. So, dude, shout out Posty. He yeah. needed Russ there. Dude, I don't know. Russ would have caught him, dude. <laughs> Russ, Russ would have had his fucking him. back. He'd been up on stage like like Post Malone's trying to like touch people's hands and like like get the crowd going. Russ like, back up, back up, back up, back <laughs> up. He's the best, dude. Best security guard. We put him out there with a paintball gun. <laughs> He just the starts pegging every car that up. comes by. Yeah, they're just driving to work <laughs> on the road. Yeah, Ryan, so are you off the caffeine now, or what's going on? Because you wouldn't even drink a Arnold Palmer. This this can of Arnold Palmer was in the fridge over there, and Ryan was like, oh, I can't drink that. It might have caffeine in it. So yeah, what's, what's the that deal? about? Basically, I was feeling sick all the time because all I would do, I would get here at 8.30, 9, crack a, or drink a coffee on the way in, have that for about three hours and go, hmm, I'm thirsty. And then I would crack a clutch, drink a clutch, and i go, hmm, that was good. And then at about three, I'd have a Mountain Dew. And it was just like all day, I was just hammering my body with caffeine and I was only getting more tired. It was at like three o'clock, I could You're hardly stay awake. Worse. Yeah, and I'm like, what the heck? I had 2,000 milligrams of caffeine this morning. How could I be tired? If you have too much caffeine, it can make you feel like, like shit, dude. Yeah. Because I remember when I was in high school, some like older kids that were in the weight room were like, oh, you don't use pre-workout? You got to try this. And I think they were punking me because they gave me like the most insane pre-workout. And I'm pretty sure the dude put like two scoops in because I think, he, <laughs> I know we put two scoops in. And the one dude that was like first all in on the prank was like, oh, you're doing two? And he's like, yeah, yeah, he's got it. I drank that shit, dude. I felt like something was wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Like I had well, to like, like lay down. or what? I felt just super sick, like I was going to throw up, like, all this. And I didn't drink coffee or, like, really any caffeine besides for pop back then. So, like, but, yeah. Which I could, think it would make you feel like that, shit. And there's such a thing as an extreme amount, an extreme intake at one time. That'll definitely yeah. make you And then you're talking, like, you got 
you're just over time you're like just always having it always yeah. having Dude, it i just I felt have, like shit i have that same problem though is like if i feel slightly tired I'm like, oh i better have more caffeine and then i'm like oh i better have i keep thinking like if i have more caffeine it'll bring my mood up yep. and my excitement and yep. my energy so i keep thinking like oh i better just drink more and I think it ultimately makes me feel shittier or like in slightly kind of a trance if I put too much into my body. Yeah, you almost just feel like, yeah, it's just weird. I felt like I never woke up during the day. I just like felt like I was you probably got a reset, dude. So that's why I'm, I, I did it. I cold, no caffeine starting this morning, and goddamn, did it do sound good today. It was like I two, think two o'clock, and I was like, "Oh, to me, there's so difference than like sodas and I know I probably don't have coffee. to go cold turkey, but." Because I don't, also, I don't perceive you. I don't think you do because I don't see you going, uh, I, I can drink Mountain Dew. So that's going to be my caffeine intake. Yeah. I'll drink three. 40 Dews a day. Yeah, I like, hate to say it, dude, but I don't think you would. I don't know if drinking a Mountain Dew will make you feel better. No, it just, it just I think it will good. maybe temporarily make you feel better. Like sometimes I'll be craving a pop, which typically that happens if I uh, drink pop. Once I start drinking pop, it's it makes you crave another pop. Exactly. I think it's the sugar, but okay. Update to the uh, the mixtape that was left on our door. Wh which door was it left on? The middle one. Okay. Is the guy? This is fucking weird. This guy oh comes God. in with a, a a scooter, a legitimate scooter. What? Moped man. Nope, Wait. not moped man. It's a blue one. Fuck. Wait, like okay. Right let's in. put this up on the screen. We just I'll, have I'll breaking news, it. guys. We have breaking <laughs> news. <laughs> download the it. The cassette okay. guy is not Walks, the golf ball guy. Drives up. Guys, I'm not kidding you. There's a lot of, and I, I think, you know, that was a really, that guy was doing just a nice gesture. I thought that was cool. They wrote a song on us. But there's just a lot of interesting stuff that seems to happen around here. Evan, are you ever scared at night? Also, He's like, not until now that you <laughs> say that. Yeah. There's a lot of cars that just pulled in our driveway, did a loop, and then pulled out. Yeah, I think people think it's some kind of tourist spot. I'm like, bro, get out of here. We don't know for sure this isn't. I mean, this is well, true. I'm glad he did this during the day. It'd be even scarier if he did it at night. So you can see the ranger tucked way the fuck back. Oh, there. that's where that was. Got a helmet what on. What in the world? I'm not gonna lie, it's a sick scooter, dude. This guy's old. He's older. Full screen it, you guys. I can't wait for you to listen. Well, I guess in this point in the podcast, you would already have your reaction to how it sounded, dude. You can tell this cassette was important to him because he kept it in the back of his pack. Yeah, not, not in, in his pocket. pocket. Tapes it to the door. Okay. And he just drives in circles. He was testing. That it. was like a decoy. It's just to confuse us. <laughs> Dragon knee. Oh. He's maybe just saying, hey, if you need a new R6 crotch rocket guy, I can be your guy. Very, very odd. I can't wait till we get our new security cams. I'll be able to zoom right in on that motherfucker. Not that he's a motherfucker, but any mother <laughs> any of you motherfuckers. Like, Ev, you picking your nose out there or something? I'll see it. Ev, jerking off in right the here. bushes. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, yeah, no, I, I do feel you, though, on that caffeine thing, Ryan. Yeah. I, I just, I'm hoping it makes me feel better. I know I could probably go really extreme and like do like fucking no gluten, no caffeine, no all these nah, bad you don't things, but there's just that. absolutely no way I can do it. So I'm going to try caffeine and see if I get a little bit of natural energy back. I think, and I, I think, think you will. As far as uh, you are cold turkey and if you're going no caffeine, but you, you can't do you like, let's say, okay, the same day I'm going to start like working out, no caffeine. And then like, let's say Agreed. also no gluten. Then you almost like don't realize you're like, fuck all this. Well, maybe that too. It's too difficult. It's it's like too much at once. Or yeah, I'm sure you'll be fe feeling really good, but you don't know how good. I guess each one makes you feel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But and then so I was gonna grab an Arnie Palmer today, and then CJ was like, "Those have caffeine in it," and I was like, well, "Really?" And then we looked it up, and it's very minimal. But I just I did it for the. Thing. I wasn't saying like you can't have that. No, I was just I saying know, you were telling me literally a minute before that, like, hey, I'm done drinking caffeine. I've done the whole day without caffeine. And then you went to grab that. I was like, you know, those have caffeine. <laughs> in it. I, like I didn't care if you drank it, but yeah, you know, I was just telling you those have caffeine in it. I have like, drank like a half gallon of orange juice today, though. That's that's, that's a lot of orange juice, dude. It's sugar. I think is what really ultimately makes you feel like shit. Fuck, there's got to be a ton of sugar. And once you start, once you start eating sugar, it's like very addictive, is what I find. And typically, I eat pretty pretty clean. Like, I don't drink a whole lot of pop, and I don't eat candy. I'll, I'll, that's what okay. I mean by I eat pretty clean. I, I at least avoid that kind of stuff. But let's say I go and get Sour Patch Kids one day, and I eat them. I'm like, wow, those are 
kind of good, but I felt like shit after I ate them. But then the next day I might see them. I'm like, I might get Sour Patch Kids again. Like you kind of cross your mind. Like it starts getting, and same with pop. Like I, uh, I picked up like some just root beer to have at the house just for something else to drink. Other and than beer and water. It, yeah, exactly. That's what, what I was thinking. But then I started drinking that and then I was like, oh, I should pick up some Mountain Dew, put it at the shop. Like you start craving it and you start drinking them more often. Whereas like we've had Mountain Dew in our fridge because Ryan drinks them and Evan drinks them a lot. And I'd never even crossed my mind. But once you have one, I feel like you got to like, it kind of hooks you. Oh, definitely. I once think you sh- start and- leisurely drinking sodas. Yeah, well, they say also sugar is, like, highly addictive. I think it's one of the more addictive things. Mm. And and just from my experience, no doctor, I seem to feel shitty if I have a lot of sugar. Like, I could fucking be drinking beers, and and as our grandpa says, Ben, drinking a beer is better for you than a pop. He's told me that since I was a kid, so I've just stayed to that, (laughs) you know? but uh, said that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he is, he's extremely healthy. Yeah. He's what, how old is he? 82. Yeah. And he's out here doing whatever he wants. Good so, for him. but yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's my piece on it. I'm going on 12 hours awake and I can feel a caffeine headache coming on though. Like uh, that's going to be a thing. Like I just feel sure. like I have a headache, but good news. I'm going to Zorba's time. Get a margarita. Yeah. So I we got the Vikings because... playing tonight, boys. Oh, Monday yeah. night football. Oh, damn. Oh. So we got to watch that. Wait, I did have something else to say about the Vikes, too. This is just a random thought that I had. They're 1 so. and 0. Oh. They're 1 and 0. Oh. We it's our <laughs> so year, baby. And I, I hate to just interrupt, but because obviously the game now has played. So, yeah. So, but true. hopefully they won. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, like they won. They played against the Packers. We always love that game. Uh, they won by like. 14 points, something, 20, yeah, they, whatever. Like, it was a, you kind of blew and them everyone out Everyone was just Like, stoked. beat them by a decent yep. amount. This year's the year. And I'm, I'm like, whoa, whoa, slow down, slow yeah, down. a lot slow of people year. are like, down. we're talking Super Bowl and shit. I'm like, bro, we won <laughs> one they game. Were. They <laughs> won, we won, like, listen, I want the Super Bowl just as bad as anyone. I know. But, but we got to take this one game at a time type of thing. Right. I'd be lying even if I wasn't like that. I'm like, this could be our year. <laughs> <laughs> this but could be our year. We thinking, won one game. So this would apply to us. Um, I know the Browns never win. Uh, I, there's this, a, there's we've some, never won the Super there's Bowl. Some the other Vikings teams, have never won it. A lot of the people around here kind of are in their feng shui. A lot of people really like to drink. So, I mean, they like enjoy the games and stuff. But there's not a whole lot else to there's, offer There's sometimes. country folk out here. And there's a lot of a lot of older gentlemen around here that, that have that watched the Vikings since they were a little kid. Like my grandpa, he doesn't live around here. But like both sides of my grandparents, like they had watched every Sunday or whenever the Vikings yeah. are playing. You would watch and they've watched for, for 30, 30 some 40 years. years. Yeah. You know, and and they've never won. So and I was gonna say, like, if the Vikings or a team that has never won won the Super Bowl, like, like the mental health so, they, of the all the guys that watch or or girls that watch would like genuinely increase. You're right. Dude. Like, <laughs> people would, that, they that they that so perform jelly, better Mike. at work. They I think like, like there would be many full grown men that would just shed happy. a tear. Yeah. Like they oh, would be yeah. so happy. Like here's another standpoint on that. Um, so I used to be. I would watch every Vikings game. I haven't, I've slightly fallen out. I watch them whenever I can, but uh, like back growing up and in like high school, especially um, even college for my one year or whatever it was. But uh, isn't it weird how we care so much about something that we're not even involved in? I'm also in this category, but it's like, I'm not on the team. I don't benefit anything from them winning, but I'm like mad if they lose Happy if they win. Like, you're so involved. And, Extra and mad if they lose to a rival team for it, Yeah, reason. yeah. But I guess now I think about it, it makes sense because it's just something to be involved in and be into. And it's super fun to watch, dude. Yeah, it's crazy how much sports afflict emotion. Yeah. yeah. Out of and, and, like, yeah. I've said that about my friends. Uh, a lot of my college friends are crazy into sports. And they follow every game. They've got multiple TVs in their apartments. And they are so pissed when they lose and happy when they win. I'm like, why do you guys care about something so much right. that you have no involvement in and no control over? No matter how much you're yeah. cheering on, they aren't going to win. But now they started sports betting, and now I understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you got money and on now the those guys are fucking, they're making money. Dude, I'm like, how much How much are you guys betting? And some are like, oh, I bet, you know, $10 uh, or $50 a week or something like that. Like, you know, pretty, like, res- pretty reserved, yeah, reserved amounts. Like it's yeah, get they get the fun out of it, but it's not dangerous. And some of them are betting like a, a couple grand. hundreds of dollars a game. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, you making money though? And they're like, yeah, I win. You know, most times, except you know, for when I lose. Maybe this could be 
our side hustle that actually works. Gambling. At least, at least for me and Gambling. Ben. Gambling. Playing you know, football. We, we've no. been trying to figure out another way to make money because we can't seem to do it in any other way. Dude, if I start investing or if I start gambling in teams. Oh, my God, dude. You should just start betting on every team other than the Vikings. So whenever the Vikings yeah. are playing <laughs> yeah, a team, yeah. Ben bets on them. They, they lose. lose. Ben loses. The rest of us <laughs> win. And the Vikes fucking win the Super right. Bowl. And you guys 2023 champs. I can fund you. No, no yeah. way. No One way. of you guys could fund uh, me. I guess I'd chip in for the greater yeah. cause. Yeah. You could, you the greater but cause. then I feel like <laughs> we're losing too. So then maybe like. It wouldn't be as fun. I don't know. No, 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 no. no I feel no, like no, it's, it's no. something about your money being invested. <laughs> I 100% agree. And I know that's exactly how it would go. And next thing you know, I would check ESPN for once in my lifetime. And my face would be plastered all over. Over it. Dude, the worst gotta try sports that. better in history. <laughs> so uh, Bro, m- maybe not value Ben so much. Or like, listen, you want to win? Bring this guy in and have him bet on the other yep. team. Bro, they'd be bringing me into the Super Bowl. They'd put me in like a yeah. like a pen. Suite. Like each team's trying to buy you <laughs> for like yeah. just extreme amounts. We of money. We will give you a million dollars. All you have to do is just invest a hundred thousand of it. <laughs> Betting against. That's why I wonder the the amount of money, but. We should have you bet against the Vikes for a game. Maybe tonight. I don't know how it is to set Dude, up. Let's just night. see how it goes. We should let's have you let's, bet we'll against do it for a video. A hundred. Let's, let's just go find someone in the bar. I don't think you should oh, bet against but, us. Oh no, you should just bet on like an app. But I like that too. We'll do we it can. for oh, yeah, true. We, we oh, can't. I can't. Yeah, it's it's for location, is illegal. Yeah. I know a couple of bookies though. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. I have never used them. But yeah, I know them. But no, I we, don't even know what that means. You should bet. You need we'll a bookie honest. in order to like uh, a bet bookie's legally. the person who places the bet. You and I take a. You and I bet. It goes I, to in CJ. Minnesota, he gets or out, a little, out of Minnesota. Yeah, it's super illegal. Like oh. being a bookie is not a legal activity. And oh, they make tons of money doing it because they commissioned. Or, you know, what do they go across the border or where's no. it legal? Uh, I they use like a VPN and or, or post it on some. I don't really know how it works. So, oh my god. Um, my like a bookie is basically just like a drug dealer. No, kind yes. of. Like they are taking the risk for you, because mm. technically we're but a drug dealer is not taking the risk. Yeah, he's the one selling. Guess, it. He's gonna profit because we're from obtaining it. a bet that we should not have. Yeah, and it kind of just falls back on the bookie. <laughs> I I don't know. I guess it's a way to bet more. So it's just a it, way it's to just gamble. a way to bet. Yeah, it's basically. a way to get involved in gambling. Because if we tried betting on a UFC fight and you're in. Uh, Minnesota, it won't work. And like I've even tried downloading. Uh, well, in my theoretically, I've tried downloading like VPNs. <laughs> and that's why CJ uses Johnsonville brought G- hypothetically. VPN. I've tried downloading uh, VPNs to see if I could bet on some fights, but it still doesn't work. So really? if we want to, yeah. And I was just like, whatever, I don't care. I'll just bet against whatever people are around me. But theoretically, hypothetically, hypothetically. Um, but we should go to Vegas and bet tonight. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. (laughs) Let's go. See ya. We're hitting it. Uh, We're going to go listen to that mixtape. Anyways, this was a really good podcast. Uh, Thank you guys. Subscribe, like, and uh, we will see you next week. See ya.